What's up guys, Nate Spear here with Maximum Monster Report. We just finished uh, pre-judging at the NPC Nationals and we're here with Hunter Lebrotter who was just in a super heavyweight class and uh, tell us how you're feeling. You ended up uh, right in the center which is always a good thing in bodybuilding. Um, so what do we go from here to the finals? Yeah, um, ended up dead center, uh, didn't get moved around so can't ask for much more than that. Um, Solid, solid, solid group of guys too in my class, which always makes it better. No one likes it when everyone's standoffish and jackassish backstage. So, solid group of guys, that makes it fun. Um, far as the morning goes, uh, waking up this morning, I was right where I wanted to be. Andrew was happy, Lee was happy with where I was at. Um, couldn't have been happier with the look we came in. Um, I think the main takeaway from pre-judging is we need to get my sweating under control. Definitely was pouring sweat even though I haven't had much of any kind of water whatsoever. And uh, you know, because I was pouring once I got off from the individuals, you know, I had to like NASCAR pit wipe myself down with paper towels and then my oil was off a little. So I think the only thing really like for tomorrow is maintaining the look. Obviously we want to improve and get sharper. I feel like we will. You always do after pre-judging when you pose hard. A little and rest too. Get know, a little rest and your nerves because you yeah. kind of know where you're going to land. Right. So um, just honestly focus on the sweating and the presentation. Focus on fixing that somehow and just come tight. Um, I know the guy that uh, won heavies is in great shape, or not won, I know he didn't win yet, but probably going to win. Um, I know the guy in contention for light heavies, there's a boss. ball of muscle, yeah. so you know, it's, 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 this is an awesome yeah. Nationals, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Stoked, stoked Even to the be here for this uh, one. Uh, there so. were a lot of good guys really in good condi uh, condition, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think a lot of guys showed up for this one, uh, like maybe a little bit weaker in the beginning of the year, like USA's, and then it sort of gradually got deeper and deeper, and now we're here at Nationals, and uh, it seems to be a really deep Nationals. So why don't you like tell us a little bit, this is like really only, what, your third show? Or this is uh, getting started, right? This is my, this is like my third competitive season. So first season of 2016, did the Branch Warren in Texas as a heavy, I won heavies in the overall. Uh, two weeks later, I did the San Antonio Extravaganza, and despite dieting harder and cutting my calories, it was like nine pounds heavier. So I won supers, but not the overall at that contest. So that was like lesson learned and not doing shows too close together. Um, the next season, I did uh, the Europa Games 2017, where I took first in the Supers and then won the overall at Europa. And then this year, 2018, we obviously hit Junior USA's early in the year, Supers in the overall there, and then came to the big dance and ready to get shit done tomorrow. So a lot of people, I think, uh, especially bodybuilding fans, would wonder, okay, so you just came up at Junior USA's when that was pretty... Uh, it went pretty well, I guess we'd say. And uh, so why wouldn't you go to USA's um, and why would you wait sort of like a long stretch to nationals? Yeah, so if I would have gone to USA's, um, it's like seven weeks after? Yeah, yeah. So seven weeks after. If I would have done USA's, I would have spent two, two and a half weeks getting the water off me from eating, getting my body back to normal, and then would have just continued suffering and dieting and at best brought a slightly more conditioned but same size package and at worst, you know, dieted a lot of muscle off yeah. or came in looking like shit. Um, I did Junior USA's on purpose because I wanted a dry run at a national show that was a non-pro qualifier with Andrew. Um, came away with a ton of notes from it and uh, doing nationals, it really allowed me to, you know, get that mental break that you really do need after you do shows. Um, really actually push a rebound. Uh, the heaviest I've ever been in my life was in between uh, Junior USA's and Nationals. I started this prep at 271 fasting. Oh wow. So, um, it, I feel like it set me up to bring a bigger, better, more conditioned package, which oh, I, I think it's pointless to step on stage if you're not going to be better than the last time I think you showed too, man. Yeah. Uh, so what do you end up weighing in at? I weighed in, uh, so it's funny, Junior USA is letting me weigh in everything. So oh, yeah. shoes, socks, shorts, phone in pocket, yeah, yeah, yeah. jewelry on, like everything. I weigh 244. 
so they made me get in trunks here and I weighed oh, in yeah. at 241. Oh, so okay. definitely yeah. a little heavier yeah. and I'm a little leaner, right. so definitely a little more muscle picked yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. Um, so what are we, what's the plan? So, so this is a different type of show for you, because uh, so it's like sort of a two day show and then yeah. longer stretch into finals, because it's at night. Yeah. Um, so what's the plan uh, going into, so a morning uh, pre-judging and then the next day, night uh, finals? So, um, Right when we get done with this, I'm probably going to get a good bit of water in me. Um, after that, definitely cut it back out pretty early um, tonight. Um, as far as, you know, like preparing for the two day, um, I personally like it being, you know, because chances are I'm not going to be on stage till probably 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow night. I get to wake up, eat breakfast, I get to go back to sleep, I get to relax, we have plenty of time to fine tune adjustments, plenty of time to mess around with my water. It plays to my favor, the longer the day goes on, the better I look, I always look worse in the morning, so it works well for me. That's good. Nice, well, uh, thanks for interviewing with us. Um, where can people find you, follow you? Uh, I know you're putting out a lot of content these days. Yeah, definitely. Um, just uh, follow me at uh, Hunter Labrada on Instagram. It's all lowercase, no spaces is my handle. And uh, like Nate said, um, the last three preps now that I've done, I've done uh, you, uh, prep series on YouTube, and uh, people say they're entertaining. So go go check them out if you're ever bored and you got a bunch of cardio to do or something. But yeah, definitely like putting uh, content out. Um, definitely, you know, really, I, I love bodybuilding. Like I don't do this because of any other reason other than I, I genuinely love everything about it so um, you know anything that y'all want to see or anything that y'all want to hear more about or see content of you know shoot me a DM or leave a comment on something um, love to hear about it and uh, you know I just give give y'all a shout out on that page y'all run real quick the bodybuilder my bodybuilders I always butcher it but uh, you know it's it's a it's a cool page in that it's got a lot of positivity still and it's definitely got a lot of uh, True bodybuilding page, not yeah, a physique yeah. page. So yeah. I, I, that, and then uh, it, it definitely was motivating as hell. Just uh, seeing the amount of you know support that I got in there. I never really post on it much, just because yeah. I'm not one to, you know, be like I don't like yeah. to be look at me. But you right. know, it's like nice, nice to have the support and you know see see you know real recognize real. You know, yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone on there's everyone on there's like rooting for each other. Right. And, it's a good environment. That, like, yeah. Old school bodybuilding. Exactly. Field, there needs to be more uh, of that. Trying that to keep it alive. Camaraderie. There's not many of us. You know what I mean. Exactly. So bodybuilders, we got to stick together. You know what exactly. I mean. And uh, you know, so. stay true to our passion of bodybuilding. You know. Definitely. All right. Well, well, we'll I appreciate the hell out of you having yeah. me on. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. All right. I'm Joel Broad on Nate Spear. Go.